that the government has since uh, maybe make it a DNA or part of their habit to arrest young people who are fighting or trying to break the buccal cavities of oppression. But they will never stop. They will never be afraid. They will always fight on, just like myself. Hi, my name is Fatma Kabi and I'm an inventor and activist. So it's super important for us to feel represented in the curriculum and to start shaping the future of education. Yet, it's very hard for young individuals to reclaim the educational sector and start shaping the curriculums that are taught in school. So instead, we started educating each other through social media by creating fun infographics and fun posts that everyone can read and has access to. By that, we're learning information from each other and hearing other people's experiences and making sure everyone is seen and heard. And because it's so special to be able to share your own story and have other people relate to it. And that's what you get when you have young individuals on social media. So although we're not able to shape the curriculums, we still find ways to teach each other because education is not limited only to classrooms. My name is Lala Toure, a 23-year-old Gambian political science student at the University of the Gambia. I am currently the Gambian representative to the Commonwealth Youth Council and equally an alumni of a Fawegam Gambian chapter. Um, there is a dire need for governments to prioritize education financing during the formulation, planning and implementation stages of all state annual budgets. There is also a need for states to intensify efforts to ensure periodic assessments uh, of priority education needs within every fiscal year. These assessments will basically ensure the government has access to accurate and timely data to identify key areas of intervention within the educational system on an annual basis. All of this will ensure an enhanced educational system and will also ensure people have life-changing experiences with education, giving them the chance to subsequently contribute to the vibrant socio-economic and political development of their various nations. My name is Mary Jacob Okusa, the GP leader who stood by on Guys Transform Education. I'm a Nigerian and I live in Nigeria. I was once told that leadership is making changes and making efforts that are leave even your own life. Stay leaders. Make the efforts to prioritize education today, as education is the bedrock for every other developmental changes you can make. Bonjour à tous. Je suis Geneviève Mwadjoun, enseignante syndicaliste camerounaise, vivant dans la région du littoral du Cameroun. J'y enseigne depuis cinq ans et je suis de la Fédération camerounaise des syndicats de l'éducation en abrégé FECAS. Le plus grand challenge concernant le financement de l'éducation pour moi se résumerait en ramener l'État à refinancer le secteur de l'éducation parce que euh, l'État finance de moins en moins euh, le secteur de l'éducation, cela en laissant par exemple des individuels euh, investir le secteur de l'éducation en créant des, des institutions. Parce que qui dit privatisation dit exclusion. Une certaine tranche de la population ne pourra pas euh, avoir accès si euh, un établissement a des frais très chers, une famille moins nantie ou des familles qui n'ont pas suffisamment euh, des revenus euh, ne pourront pas avoir euh, des frais. Pour... We are reclaiming our education, our gender for ourselves within our lifetime. We are reclaiming our educational agenda ourselves in our lifetime. Power shift. Because education shifts power. Thank you.